no Jedi. Your power is a weak old man. Always remember. Your focus determines your reality. Hello there. General Kenobi. You don't know the power of the dark side. And welcome back to Disciples of the Force podcast. I'm your host, Spencer Silva. I'm here with my beautiful co-host, Austin Hyatt. Um, we just talked about it, just literally, just barely. Apparently, we've been off since May 19th, as my co-host was just telling me. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry if if you feel like we're not being the same as we should. So um, with that being said, I guess I'll change and be better. <laughs> yeah, that'll be great. <laughs> All right, any Star Wars news, Ost? <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, let's see here. Two big things, two really big things. So a new game announced. Well, not announced. Trailer revealed. We've known about it for a couple of years now. Yes. Uh, Ubisoft's new Star Wars open world game being done by this studio that did um, Mass Effect, I think. Can't remember. Um, Star Wars Outlaws, the trailer looks really promising. Again, it's open world. It's going to be really cool. So... I'm excited for that. I'm, I am excited for that. I can't wait to play it. Open world, it's going gonna, it's gonna to totally beat Harry Potter out of the water. Those effing oh, nerds. Yeah, dog. Yeah, well. <laughs> um, I really like Ubisoft. A lot of people don't, but I love the Assassin's Creed games. So it's not the same studio within Ubisoft, but it'll be great. So yeah. I will be playing that. And it comes out pretty soon, like next year, I think. The end of next year. Probably October or December 2024. We'll see. And then the next little bit of news is um, new dates revealed for the three Star Wars films. Um, and this is actually pretty cool. They actually got pushed back, which isn't cool. Um, but... but again, it's probably just the effects of the writer strike because Disney um, pushed back all of their Marvel projects except for Deadpool. Um, and Star Wars also got affected. But How about you just pay your writers, Hollywood? Yeah, seriously. So two Star Wars films will be released in 2026 now. There was supposed to be one at the end of 2025, whatever. Got pushed back. So now for the first time ever, two Star Wars movies will release in one year. That'll be 2026. Mm -hmm. And then one for 2027. So it's May 22nd, 2026, December 18th, 2026, and December 17th, 2027. So we don't know which ones will fill that those dates, but it'll be interesting. Um, if I remember correctly, that's kind of what they attributed the failure of Solo to, that it came out too close to one of their Skywalker saga movies and didn't do well at the box office. So it's kind of interesting that they're taking that route again, but I'm excited for it. I don't care. It's been working for Marvel for 15 years. So Solo did perform the worst. Mm -hmm. So yeah. (laughs) And listeners article. (laughs) Oh, yes. Oh, I actually, I read that. I did read it as soon as you sent it. Um, I, can tell you I was that. at work, so I didn't read it. I'll have to revisit it. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Um, listeners and viewers, I apologize if I cough into the mic or my voice. I don't have COVID. Um, COVID. I just got back from a trip to Mexico with my very best friends in the world, and uh, I think I got some kind of virus down there. So I, I might don't... be coughing. I have a sore throat. I don't like that you said that. I don't like said that. Said what? Mexico? You went, they, they, you went with your very best <laughs> friends in the world because I wasn't there. Okay? I wasn't even considered as an invite. Really? I don't know. <laughs> no. Well, you weren't. Forrest was, but you weren't. So. <laughs> yeah. That's just kidding. Cool. I'm not mad, dude. <laughs> no, like, I'm not mad. Like, it's fine. I just went to that's Mexico. That's great. We'll have to go on a trip. Um, We're going on a trip later <laughs> if anybody wants to join. Um, end of June. <laughs> So, yeah, we are. We're going to go camping. Okay. Well, um, that's all the Star Wars news I had. Did you have anything, Spinny? Uh, Disciples of the Force news. We had a video pop off last week on yeah. TikTok. That was really cool. Um, but then uh, I, I, I don't read the comments anymore, man. I can't handle negativity. I know. <laughs> Here's the thing. We're just two friends talking about Star Wars. It's not that deep. It's not that serious. Um, on the video you posted after that, 
Raiders of the Lost podcast commented like two or four times. Yeah. And they're like a they have five hundred thousand followers on TikTok. They're a big podcast. I've followed them for like a year now. And then you Maybe two. Them. <laughs> uh I was about to. Their one of their videos popped up yesterday and I was like, These guys are dicks, dude. I'm gonna unfollow them. Like they came well, after us and we're a small podcast, so that kinda hurts. But and, and the thing is like <laughs> the what they came at you for, we kinda t- talked about it, was like you had prefaced what you said with like, I don't want to give the rise of Skywalker too much credit. But yeah. and then you went on to give out your theory. A theory nonetheless. And they yeah. were like there's good movies out there. You just got to watch them. And it's like, yes, there, there are. We're not, I didn't, he didn't say there was no good yeah. movies. He was just saying Dude. this realm of like fantasy film, sci-fi, this kind of realm. That's what's happening. I mean, Austin's yeah. got a podcast about film. Okay. He knows film. Yeah, I do know film. That's what made me so mad. There are move, good movies coming out. You're just not watching them. I was like, dude, get over yourself. This is a 30 second clip. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm watching good movies. Context. You a-hole. <laughs> Uh, it's just online stuff. None of it's real anyway. So, yeah. Here's the thing. You you you're listening to it here first. A big fish podcast is coming out of small fish. So protect us, please. Yeah, go defend <laughs> us. If you are a new listener, because we got a bunch of new listeners from a big video. If you are a new listener, welcome. And uh, please email Stay us, away. comment on our stuff, and let us know what we should change. Let us know if we're idiots like Raiders of the Lost podcast did, <laughs> so we can improve. So. Yeah, and like Austin said, we're we're just two buds talking about Star Wars. It's not that deep. All right, we have takes that are bad. Like I say things that I'm sure Austin's like that's silly, but he's not going to call me out on the pod. So just you know, we just like to talk about Star Wars and such um, as well. Uh, yes, please email us disciples of the force at gmail dot com. All one word. Uh, we want to hear topics for real. We we're running low on our topics that we can talk about and what you would like to hear about or. You know, whatever. Or what you think about what we said in the last week's episode. If it's like, no, dude, this was dumb. You should have said this. And I'm like, oh, we'll bring it up. Yeah. Cool. We only take emails, <laughs> though. No texts. I don't know if he listens to the podcast, but my new best friend, Parker, texted me a really good <laughs> topic. Like, really good. I texted you about it right after. And, uh, yeah. yeah. We can't bring we can't it up talk about it, it wasn't email. Yeah. It's not email. I'll, hey, I'll buddy, tell him to email it. You got, you got to email it. You email it, I'll talk about it. Because I do think what you said <laughs> it was a really good idea and a good point. But it I'm was great. We'll have to talk about it some other day. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's emailed, I'll talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, let's just jump into the wheel. It's been a, it's been not too long. We're doing pretty good on the wheel. Just burped. Sorry about that. That's okay. All right. Uh, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay. Cool. I only put three on there because I don't know. I was, couldn't think. Oh, That's good. okay. We oh. got to get through them somehow. Good. This will be kind of fun. Our top five characters of Star Wars, which mm, I know this mm, is kind of mm. on the spot. <laughs> yeah, that is tough. Um, because that is really hard. I mean, I think like getting your favorite, and then like, I think I just feel like four and five might be what will be like fillers. You know what I mean? Actually, no, yeah. I don't even think that. Because now that I'm thinking, there's actually a lot that I really like. Now that my now my brain's freaking out. Yeah, I'm ready. Um, you ready? Yeah. Let me tell you okay. my five favorite. I, are you going to do a bit? Are you going to go, Jar Jar Binks, and then just go Dude, a total meme? Max no. Rebo. <laughs> I would not say Jar Jar Binks. I was going to say Max Rebo. <laughs> um, okay, Max Rebo. Size Noodles. Uh, Cassian Andor. <laughs> take, Salacious take B. Crumb. Salacious take B. Crumb. Back, take those back now. Delicious so be crumb <laughs> and R four. Yeah, <laughs> those are my favorite. It's so I've funny. I literally got a figure of R four right here. Uh, you talk so much crap on R four, man. What from the man from Mandalorian? You were talking mad trash on him. Oh no, no, dude! You don't even know who R <laughs> four is, do you? That's uh, so I embarrassing. Don't. I think that's R five from from oh. Mandalorian. Am I thinking of R5? Yeah. R5-D4. I'm talking R4-P17, okay? He had like three minutes of screen time. I've got a Lego figure of him right here. See that? Hold Little on. Little boy? That's oh, right there. yeah. He gets his effing mind ripped off. Yeah, he did. He's a martyr. 
He's a hero. So, so I'm thinking about. I'm getting this is actually tough. I'm like writing out my top five right now as we talk, and I'm actually getting nervous. We might have to do uh, some sort of stipulation because I feel like mine will be really um, cool. Let's get to the point. Yeah, really like basic. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Oh, oh, this is tough. And yeah, here's is... the other thing: is it in right. canon? Uh, I or... was going with canon. Yeah, let's just do canon. That's easier. All right. Well, cool. let's do this. Let's do this. Let's just freaking scratch this, and we'll come back to it next week, and we'll just spin the wheel again. <laughs> well, we could do it. It's just going to be quick for me. Yeah. Let's... Let's just do it. <clears throat> I'll give you my five. Okay. Okay. Let's hear it. Uh, Lay Organa. <laughs> Easy. Um, Darth Vader. Obi Wan Kenobi. Luke Skywalker, and Cassian Andor. Five. I I, I, I we're not doing a bit. It's fine. No, that's your favorite. I just didn't know that. That's very interesting to me. Well, here's the thing. Leia is such a cool character. Like, um, the fact that she is a Skywalker and she has the potential to be just as powerful as Luke within the Force, but then she isn't, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, But instead, she's like the diplomatic and political leader of the Rebel Alliance and the New Republic. I think that's really cool. Yeah, exactly. And she had to go through a lot of stuff after the galaxy as a whole learned that she was Darth Vader's daughter. She was kind of exiled from politics and from leadership. And she had to work her way back um, when the time came to fight the First Order. She, I mean, overall, she's a super cool character. That's it's weird point. that you don't think so. <laughs> no. no. No, no, I can't. Don't turn that on me. Don't just turn it on me. Um, no, the reason why I thought that was interesting was because I was thinking more like action. I don't know. My mind was seeing action based and action packed. So, oh, uh, but I see what you're saying that like she has an actual character, like what she went through. Yeah, that's, yeah, I get it. Yeah. I'm with you. And the impact well, she had. Like without uh, Leia and her call for help. There's no Obi Wan Kenobi getting involved in the war. There's no Luke Skywalker. Luke you know? Skywalker's. I love that dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, I like that. I, I actually really enjoy that. I now I feel like I'm sexist because I don't have any girls on my list. So now I'm yeah, going to get canceled. I'm sorry. I love yeah. Girls. So if we do do this again, we might need to do like ten because five is easy I, to fill up. Five, that's exactly what I thought. It's just like, oh, five is actually really easy when you start thinking about the characters. And I think we should also do like, so maybe it should be top 10 characters and then do maybe five top, top, dude, am I having an aneurysm? Top five maybe. Sith as well would be kind of cool too. And then I guess we could really have, we could have really, maybe next week we can do that. But we'll just like have one of Legends and then Canon and then um, uh, Sith and then Jedi and then. Uh, what are those called? I almost said bounty hunters. In, in St- Lego Star Wars, they're considered uh, scavengers. That's what they're called. Okay. It's like what Han Solo, Chewie are. I guess would Cassian be considered that? I don't know. He's not. I really... think within the game he is, but he's not like yeah. a scavenger or scoundrel. I don't. I don't know what. It Maybe is it is game, scoundrel. But... I think. I think it is scoundrel. I think you're right. But like you could do non-force sensitive. Yeah, non-force sensitive other users. Yeah, because for me it goes Darth Vader. Um, Obi Wan, but I'm a big Obi Wan like prequel Obi Wan. I'm not talking Sir Alec Guinness. I, I don't. I like him. I love him. I'm just saying when I think of Obi Wan, I think of um, Ian McGregor. Yeah. Uh, and then Anakin, and this is like the Anakin with the prequels and the Clone Wars. You know the yeah, of course, the mix of him that makes him so beautiful. Um, I, and then Luke, but maybe I might even switch Luke and Anakin. I don't know, but I do love Luke. Luke's just so dope. Well, yeah, here's the thing. Legends Luke is all-time, chart, yeah. you know, insane. Um, but he kind of got nerfed, obviously, within canon as of right now. I, I saw this thing that, like, Filoni might be adding to his character within the Mandoverse, you know, oh, that, would be cool. that we'll get to see some of his Legends feats. Uh, obviously, I don't think cool. that's true to a crazy extent, but... Yeah, maybe just a little. Nothing, like, because he can't really... 
go too crazy with him when you're yeah. focusing on Din Djarin. Um, and then I would go Qui-Gon. I love Qui-Gon. Yeah, Qui-Gon was just such a freaking dope dude. I would, he's just, he just got it, man. He just understood it. Yeah, um, and I think along with that, uh, I was going to say some, Oh, I was going to ask. So with legends, I mean, I know with a Disney acquisition, that's what axed all of them, which makes sense. It just makes it a lot easier for them to build off of it. Just cutting off all things that yeah. aren't movies. Um, but when legends was coming out, like, did they still have to have rights through George Lucas to even write about them or like, cause like, I don't like, were they fan fiction that are being written in legends or did he like actually say, uh, you can use my characters however you want. So I've heard mixed reports. Um, so yes, they were officially licensed. So for example, Mar Marvel comics had the rights to star Wars. Okay. Ever since, you know, the early eighties, I think. I couldn't tell you when that started. <laughs> but, um, yeah, they were officially licensed to the things. So a lot of the comics, all Marvel, all sanctioned by Star Wars. The books, all licensed and legit. Um, George Lucas didn't have a huge hand in them, though. It was really independent writers, again, using the license and doing everything properly. And at the time, it was considered canon. I've read that George didn't really consider any of it canon um obviously i think that's anecdotal i don't know if um if that's true let, let me look it up real quick yeah because I, I i could see i mean him i can't see him saying none of it because i feel like there's got to be parts where he's like oh that that's that's actually really good <laughs> yeah i would have thought of that you know what I mean? yeah so it looks like this is just screen rant usually pretty reliable. Uh, George Lucas never thought of the expanded universe, which is what it used to be called before legends. Um, mm. Never thought of the expanded universe as being part of the star Wars story. So, yeah. Hmm. But again, he wasn't like against it. I don't think, I don't think he uh, tried to undo any of it, yeah. but it, it just wasn't his, his creation. So, yeah. And, and I think that's harder because when you're the guy who made it, like created everything, you know, and other people start adding on it, I think it, it would be a lot harder to accept some things because you're like, ah, that's not really where, where, in my mind, where I'm going with it, or in my mind, where this character has come from, they wouldn't do that, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, that makes perfect sense. Um, cool. Well, along with that, actually, I actually have the, um, speaking of screen rant, the 11 Star Wars movies ranked from box office uh, adjusted for inflation. Okay. Let's dive into this, huh? Yeah, Since share you your screen, dog. No, like it's just like crazy that you didn't read it, so I want to talk about it. Listen, I bet I could tell you the list without looking at it. Okay, let's hear. What, what's your prediction? I actually, what do you want to know? I'm not going to share <sighs> with you your prediction of what you think how they performed. Okay, adjusted. Uh, it says yep, adjusted uh, according to inflation. Okay, from or in for inflation, from least to greatest. Yeah, let's hear it. That no, that's actually tough. That's really tough. No, you got it. You, um, you were, no, solos, dude, you were solos so at the bottom. Confident. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> solos at the bottom. Yes. Um, then probably Rogue One. Okay. Yeah, you gotta tell me if I'm hot or cold here. Uh, that one is mildly warm. Mm. <laughs> I don't even know all the movies. I'm just kidding. Shut up. I'm kidding. Um. Okay, I'm going to say Solo, Rogue One, Attack of the Clones. Uh, that one is extremely hot, Attack of the Clones. But it's not it, but very hot. Okay. Um, Then, well, actually, I, I don't know adjusted. Because I feel like after waiting 20 years, the prequels, like Phantom Menace, I know that one hit hard. But I, I just don't know if it's enough to be greater than the sequel trilogy in terms of box office. Let's just go for it. Let's just, you, you just show me, okay? <laughs> no, dude, you're talking all this smack. I yeah. wasn't. Okay, show that screen. <laughs> I'll, sh I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you. you. You were really close. You were really close in that beginning. Um. So yes, we do know that it was uh, Solo performed the worst, and then okay. it was Attack of the Clones was next. Okay. Um. And then Rise of Skywalker performed there. Wow. Yeah. And then Rogue One was eight. And it was you're so you're right in like the what you thought it was going to be. Um, and then episode three, 
did not do too hot in the box office. Return of the Jedi, which, which I did think was a little that that one was a little interesting to me. Um, but so none of these flopped except for Solo, right? Like right. all of them earned back their their budget. Maybe um, Solo did too. I don't know. Uh, the film goes for like twenty four. Uh, that I don't know. I don't have that information. Okay, okay. So we'll have to do no some more research to see if it makes the money back. Uh, the Last Jedi, and then Phantom Menace. Which yeah, that's. So you're smart because I didn't even think it. When I saw this, I was like really surprised about it. I guess that makes sense. You have a 20 year wait. Like, I guess yeah. Yeah, it's going to perform huge. People are going to, which also, this is such a sick photo. I've never yeah, seen it. Yeah, so cool. That was the official marketing, you know? Really? Which is really cool. Yeah. That's actually super sick. That's really dope. Um, Empire Strikes Back, The Force Awakens, which again is one of those movies that you're waiting for so long. Yeah, totally you're believable. Getting, you're getting the original characters coming back. Like, that's crazy you know and then a new hope which i mean yeah a new hope yeah of course beautiful so wow, I, what, what's the number what's the adjusted number uh for this one for yeah adjusted for inflation 3.8 billion, 8 billion. <laughs> Jeez, that is actually crazy yeah wow. so 3.8 billion and then uh the force awakens was 2.6 billion uh, Empire Strikes Back was 1.9 billion. Um, where's this guy at? 1.8. Oh, 1.8. I don't know. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, 1.8. So, yeah, they're relatively pretty close. These top ones are like within you know, 1.6. I mean, they're that's pretty. I mean, of yeah. course, we're talking millions of dollars, but still, like, it wasn't like they're like one totally outshined the rest. 1.4 right. from Return of the Jedi. Uh, 1.3 for Revenge of the Sith. And then Rogue One was 1.3 when you adjust for inflation. And then Rise of Skywalker was, mm, I don't know, maybe 1.2 billion. And then Attack of the Clones was 1.1. And then Solo was... No way. That's Okay, that is a big drop. Yeah. Yeah, four seventy five million compared to Attack of the Clones, which is the next, which is at one point one billion. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Wow. <laughs> that's like wow, that's insane. That's actually really big. And so why do you think I actually this, this kind of opens up why I mean, clearly there's a reason these performed the way they did. But solo wasn't in like a terrible timing, but you're saying that some of the reports you saw was kind of a, a cannibalism, if you would, uh, yeah. with uh, the Skywalker saga. What movie came out at that time? This came out was it was it, it uh, must have been 2018, I think. So it was Return or uh, the Last Jedi. Last Jedi. Okay. Well, I don't. I don't but, know. If, I don't want to say 2018. I'm not sure. We were on our mission, so I, I don't really know. But I think it was the Last Jedi. Come out. Uh, it came out 2018, and so yeah, did the last Jedi. 2017, 2017. it would have been, yeah. Huh. So, but it was within six or eight months, and that's what Disney right. attributes it to. Kathleen Kennedy thinks it was because they recast Harrison Ford or Han Solo. Which, I mean, oh, and that's which, right. We we talked about that yeah. whole about that's why they are doing deep fakes because they're scared that's what they do. but he didn't do bad i don't who was the actor? No. I don't, what's his name alden something uh air aaron reach aaron reich i don't know how to pronounce that um yeah he a lot of his mannerisms were spot on yeah for what harrison ford did while playing han solo so i mean i don't think like i need to watch it again because i haven't watched it in a bit but he i don't know like I, it is surprising to me that it performed the worst but I don't have a hatred towards the movie, you know? No, I, I think it's fine. I think the big three reasons are it came out at the wrong time, too close to a really divisive film. Like Return of the Jedi, or sorry, The Last Jedi had fans split down the middle. Some people yeah. loved it. Some people absolutely hated it. And then for a, another Star Wars movie to come out six or eight months later, and on top of that, it being one that... Like a lot of fans didn't really care to see because it's like, I mean, you go back and watch the movie now and in retrospect, it makes sense why it didn't do super well. Obviously we were on our missions. We didn't have access to it um, at the time. And so I don't know what the public sentiment was, but 
when you watch it, you're like, well, we've heard Han tell all these stories, you know, like yeah. the Kessel run and all that stuff. So do we really need to see it again? Like, yeah. Um, I mean, not again, do we need to see it after we've already heard it? Do we need this story? So I think maybe that's why ratings went down. And then again, um, recasting Han Solo. So I think three big reasons yeah. as to why it didn't do super well. Hmm. I think the other ones make sense as well, where they fall. I'm surprised that um, uh, Rogue One did better than Rise of Skywalker. I didn't know that. Yeah, that actually is pretty pretty crazy. I mean... I guess and, that's adjusted, I, though. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, that is true. It is adjusted. It, it, but it's just like, for me, my theory is... Well, that's not really a theory. I just wonder if, like, maybe people were just like, Star Wars is dead. I'm not watching that movie. Yeah. <laughs> because, I mean, it is crazy, though, that Rogue One... I mean, then again, like, I think, well, Rogue One's low, but then again, like, think about what it's going against. <laughs> You're going against Revenge of yeah. the Sith, Return of the Jedi, you know. So, I mean, it makes sense that it is lower on the list, but still, I mean, one of the arguably best Star Wars movies to ever come out, so. Right. Um, I'm just looking here. I just want to look at Solo. I'm looking at the th thermometer, the tomato meter. <laughs> the thermometer, yeah. Yeah. Uh, right so 69% on Rotten Tomatoes, 63 with the audience score. And I just want to see what cr critics were, what they were coming at. Um, uh, give me like, is there a way to look at bad reviews? I actually don't want to see like happy reviews. I want to, I want uh, you can on Letterboxd. I'm not sure about on Ron what you're using. I totally forgot. We talked about this too. I totally forgot Ron Howard directed that. Yeah. Yeah. That's crazy. Ron Howard. That is crazy. Cause I mean, what's funny about that is I think he was in the running for directing Empire Strikes Back and uh, Return of the Jedi. What, so, what movies did he do that like shot him up? Like, I know he's a household name. Like, he's um, he knows him. Well, he's got a few good ones. He's got A Beautiful Mind, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, um, Apollo Thirteen, Angels and Demons, The did, Da Vinci did Code. Did we talk about this on this podcast? Am I just going crazy? I feel like we did talk about this. Maybe we did. I don't huh. know. I used to we make probably talked about Ron Howard. Well, I, I was just thinking about how I used to make fun of Bobby Lee and Andrew Santino when they would say something on the podcast. I'm like, don't they remember? They just like, how do you not this. remember? Yeah. But now I genuinely have a vague memory of talking about Ron Howard, but I don't know if we dumped and in, dived into their moody, moodies. The moodies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hate myself. I hate myself. Yeah. Solo performed. I mean, on Letterboxd, that's kind of where I go for film reviews. Okay. It's got a three overall, which is pretty bad. That's um, pretty bad. You gave it a two and a half on Letterboxd. Crazy. Weird. Well, so, but that might have been during my whole, like, I was just filling everything out. Yeah, but you're higher than, like, Zach and Grace and Jaren. I gave it a three. Like I said, I don't hate it, but it's, I like... I don't hate it either. I don't know why. I again, we just didn't really need it. Yeah. I think that movie could have been put more towards... I can't even think of what... I don't know something who, okay, let's talk about that. Who would you have rather seen had a, uh, their own movie out of, let's just say all of star Wars at that point, at that point that we had seen, well, it's kind of the original, question. the original slate or the original plan. As far as I know, was a movie about Han Solo, a movie about Boba Fett and a movie about Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I much rather would have had um, a Boba Fett or an Obi-Wan Kenobi, probably in that order. Because yeah. Boba Fett at that time would have been really great because you could have done oh, yeah. a bef before Empire and Timur Morrison, or you could recast him and just have him keep his helmet on most of the time, which would have been fine as well. Yeah. Which would have been better than him pulling his helmet off all the time because that's what made him cool initially was, you know, the man with no name. Right. Scary yeah, helmet guy. Was. Um, and then Obi-Wan Kenobi would have been better as a movie, as we've talked about ad nauseum on this podcast. But you could have had Ewan McGregor come on in and get that taken care of. Just better. I mean, yeah, it would have been a better move than doing Solo first. Yes, yeah, Solo and was that, interesting. 
that is a well-documented reason for why they cut those movies is because Solo failed. So if Raiders of the Lost podcast comes at me, it's documented that uh, the reason they cut the Obi-Wan Kenobi movie and turned it into a series and the Boba Fett movie and turned it into a series is because of the failure of Solo. So it's a shame. Who would you rather have seen in a movie? I, well, you know, that's a, that's a good point. I, I think I'd rather just watch Luke. No, I'm just kidding. Which would be cool, seeing Luke. The, I, but that's already going on at the time, so you can't. So what I would rather have seen, I think, would have been Boba Fett. I think, and kind of going off of what you said, like we're, we're doing, because we talked about a Boba Fett movie between Empire uh, Strikes Back and... Return of the Jedi, or maybe even before Empire Strikes Back. I can't remember. Because yeah. we talked about how, because right, there's the line from Darth Vader, no disintegrations. Yeah. Yeah, I would have loved, it could have even straddled um, Empire. I would have loved that. Well, actually, yeah. between Empire and Return of the Jedi would have been kind of hard. Because I'm not sure how much time passes between those movies. It seems like Luke's gotten far more powerful in that time. Yeah, so maybe before but, the Empire Strikes Back yeah. maybe a better. But in the comics, in the canon comics. Oh no, that is okay, so yeah, I think between a new hope and Empire. That'd be cool. Yeah. I think because be really cool. Boba Fett is the one that reveals to um Darth Vader that Luke's name is Skywalker and you know Yes. That's what yeah. gets that Darth really cool. Vader to know that. So it would have been a really yeah. cool storyline to see him pursuing that. That's true because then you'd also get glimpses of Darth Vader. It probably would have thrown him in there. Yeah, and it would have been cool because as well. Um, oh, I just lost my train of thought. Uh, <sighs> sometimes podcasting is so hard. I can't remember what I'm thinking. <laughs> um, no, but it would have been cool because you have Darth Vader and that re- being revealed, and then as well. Um, oh, that's what I was gonna say. That you're coming off a New Hope where you can kind of get some bits and pieces of what Darth Vader was doing after, you know, they blew up yeah. the Death Star and he's spiraling out to space, you know, and like maybe he contracts Boba Fett to be like, Hey, all right, we got to roll these rebels. They were kind of like, amp, eh, and now they're, they're causing yeah. some big problems, <laughs> which is yeah. funny. Cause I'm reading the Thrawn book and, you know, watching rogue one and everything like you see, like this project was huge. <laughs> like yeah. all the work going into the Death Star and like there's like uh in the book, I'm on the last book for the Thrawn original trilogy. Well, original canon trilogy. Um and he's uh basically right now Tarkin is trying to take away the um overseeing of the Death Star from Krennic. Uh-huh. And so he's using Thrawn to try to do that. So it's really cool. And like you really like you're getting really into the Death Star. These last two books have talked about it. Like it's not this like small project. It's like a huge project, and it's also very under wraps. Like they're not telling very many people about it, you know. And so I don't know. I just think it's funny that it just gets blown up in a new hope. And you're like, yeah, yeah. that 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 is a huge middle finger to the the Empire because they are like, okay, that's uh, that's not cool, man. <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, you see how big of a project is even in Attack of the Clones when you see the Death Star plans on Geonosis. Like, oh yeah, the seed had been planted back then. Yeah, and for all of that to just be gone in a blip, you know, yeah. is crazy. <laughs> um, in the Thrawn books, does it talk about his TIE fighter program? Yes, it does talk about that as well. That's actually right now. That's like the biggest focus on right now because it's the two projects going on. The Death Star, which is, what is it called? The Stardust. Stardust. The Stardust Project. Yeah. And um, the TIE fighters. And like, that's like where it's at right now is basically... Krennic is running into an issue where he's getting attacked and all the supplies are getting taken. So he can't use them for the death star. And Tarkin's like, well, and basically Krennic's like, I'm going to take away funding for your tie fighter project and put that to the death star. Cause it's more important. And then Krennic, I mean, not Krennic, uh, Tarkin goes, okay, we'll do that. If Thrawn can't fix your problem in a week, if he can fix it in a week, you don't get any of our funding, which would then make Tarkin look even better in the emperor's eyes. And then he's going to, Snake yeah. from him. So I don't know. I'm excited. It's like, this is it's got it's got me on the edge. It's pretty this book has been started off better than the last two for sure. So cool. Yeah, you'll have to let me know how it goes, because from what I understand, 
if they would have gone with Thrawn's tie defenders, what are they called? Tie, yeah, uh, some kind like of the, special. They're super special. They can do hyperspace. They can jump. Yeah, right. yeah. So like, crazy power. Like apparently, if they would have gone with that program, they would have won the war rather than you know going for a second Death Star. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's true. Because in, in Rebels, they 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 refer to that, right? They talk yeah about yeah those tie, yeah they're brought up. Um. Yeah, because even Darth Vader, when he flies it in the second book, and he's very impressed by it. He's like, mm, these, are, these are nice. That's these sweet. Are pretty good. And so then okay. he, like, gives his, like, like tells Thrawn, like, this is, maybe we should pursue this. And then in this book, they're like, well, the problem, like, because he's like, well, I'm fine because Darth Vader loves him. And like, yeah, but he's the Emperor's pet. So if, if Palpatine says, I don't like him, then Darth Vader's not going to back him, even wow. if he does like him. So kind of cool. Cool. Yeah. So get out of your video watching and get to your reading. And by reading, I mean listening because I'm too dumb to read. Okay. Yeah, I can <laughs> oh. do that. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. You told me earlier you had to get off at a certain time. It's close to that time. Do you want to oh wrap it up? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. My goodness. I just time um, flies when I speak to you, man. Sure. Sure it does. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. We started late today because I had an issue at work that I was going to yell but actually the issue's still going on i need to get back on that but I just yeah don't know go get that is. fixed dog um so short episode today talk about some good stuff i don't know that was fun i liked where we ended. yeah um we're i was gonna say we have something in the works but we have nothing in the works so <laughs> no i mean next star wars project doesn't come out for another couple of months yeah so well we'll so. well yeah so please please <coughs> please Send us um, uh, some ideas for the podcast. Email us. We I would love to hear what you guys want to talk, us to talk about. We'll be more than happy to uh, to dive into that. Yeah, maybe um, since we did an episode talking about what's wrong with the sequels, we can talk about what's wrong with the prequels and the originals and stir some people up. That's true because that that is on our list: the prequels and the sequels. So yeah, I mean, I, tr- I mean, they're not perfect. I mean, yeah. the originals are a little bit harder to go at because they're just, you got a lot of strong, strong fans on those, man. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But we're not so, afraid, dude. Yeah, we're totally not afraid. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? I'm ready. It's going to be out of sync, but I'm ready. <laughs> okay. okay. One, two, three. Thank you Thank for, you being, for being a disciple, disciple of the of force. The force.